Hello and welcome to another Router Guides video. My name is Humphrey Chung. This is going to be our Packet Tracer, a continuation of our Packet Tracer series. We're going to be on lesson four, kind of an introduction to the switching, the switches inside of Packet Tracer. And so if you have some junk left over from previous lessons, just drag a box over everything, hit delete, and nuke everything, clear out your screen. Let me go on into the bottom left hand corner, click on switches. I see we have a whole mess of switches. Well, not, not that many switches, but what you'll be doing most of the time in our labs is we're going to be dragging in a 3560 switch. And so just like computers, as you keep dragging devices in, the numbers go up. So switch zero, switch one, switch two, switch three, so on and so forth. This particular switch is what is called a layer three switch. It can be a router or a switch. And uh, it's one of the most popular switches that you will see out in the enterprise world today. So it's a pretty pretty good switch, can do a lot of stuff. The 2950s and the 2960s you'll also see, those are pretty decent. But uh, if, if you want a decent amount of features for not that much money, uh, it still is a couple thousand bucks though, the 3560 is the way to go. So why do you need a switch or what exactly does a switch do? Let's just click on this switch here and let's take a look at how it looks. So this is, let's just resize this. All right, so we can see by looking at the front of this switch, it is 1U high. So what 1U is, is this is a standard unit of measurement in those computer cabinets that you've probably seen in movies or data centers out there. And 1U is about, I forget exactly what how tall it is. I think it's one and a half inches tall. Could be mistaken, I'm just going by memory there, but it's, pre it's pretty, uh, pretty thin. And so at the top here, we're looking at the front of the switch and the bottom is the back. So let's take a look at the front. Front has got 24 ports, so theoretically we could connect 24 computers or devices together. Usually what happens is you will connect 24 computers or phones, and then you can see we've got these two ports here. These are what we call uplink ports, and those are going to go to other switches or routers. So usually computers go here, computers and phones go here, and other switches and routers are connected here. The back here, we've got a con uh, console port right here. This is how we manage this switch. We're going to plug in a blue console cable to set up the switch. And we've got our power cord there. So this particular tab, not that exciting. So nothing really to configure because when you buy a 3560, uh, this is what you get. There are some different models out there. You can see this is a PoE. I can't really zoom in here, but... PoE stands for Power Over Ethernet. So if you plug in a Cisco phone, it's going to turn on magically without needing another power connector. Not just phones, but there are um, things like uh, security cameras that will use Power Over Ethernet and a host of other devices. Let's click on the second tab, the Config tab. Here you can call this, let's say, Switch 1. You could also change the host name of that switch if you wanted to. You can load in the startup config, export the running config. You can do all these type of other things. So you could set the do the change the different settings for all these ports through a graphical interface. But usually, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing the command line interface, the CLI right there. And let's exit out of there. So you can see right here that your switch is called switch. Let's see what happens if we do conf t. So that is short for config t in the command line. What that means is we want to configure something. We want to change something. I'm going to start off small. We're going to actually just do the host name right here. Host name switch1. You can see now we are called switch one. And if you end out of there, it kicks you out of the config mode. And actually, if we go into conf t, if we exit, 
it seems to do the same thing, but here's the difference between end and exit. So let's say you go into ConfT and you want to configure an interface. Well, to configure an interface, you have to do int, that's short for interface, and the interface you want to configure. So we're going to do 0 slash 1. So this means on that particular switch, you are configuring the first port. Now, on some devices, it's actually fast 0, 0, and not on this one. So it's going to be fast 0, 1. So just be a little careful there. So interface fast 0, 1. Now, you notice right here my prompt has changed. It's config-if, and that means I'm in interface configuration mode. So if you can visually see it, you're down two levels. So as you get in configuring stuff, for interfaces you had to you had to go into the config mode first and now you're in the interface config mode now if you want to go back one level you want to go pop one up that's going to be exit and you can see right here you're back in config mode now let's see if we go back into the interface configuration mode now if i want to go all the way out i type end and now i'm out back to this prompt right here, which is my enable mode. So it's kind of like a administrator mode where I could show everything, take a look at stuff. Incidentally, if you want to see what interfaces your switch has and what's the status of them, a couple ways you could do it. Show IP int BR is one way. Show IP int BR stands for show IP interface brief. So right there, you can see all of the interfaces. All right, let's just connect two switches together and that's gonna be our lesson. So let's get rid of these two, hit the delete. And now I'm gonna be left with switch one over here and I'm gonna rename this switch on the right side. Let's just call this switch two. And let's go into the configuration, the command line interface and we'll change the host name. So right here, this prompt right here means that you are in a user mode. You can't do much. If you do a question mark, uh, not very many things are available to you. So to get into administrator mode or the enable mode, it's simply enable. Now you don't need to type in enable. You don't need to type in the full command most of the time because the router or the switch, all Cisco devices have context sensitive help. So what that means is if you hit E and you're scratching your head going, well, it starts with an E. I don't remember what the exact command is. You can hit question mark right there and it's saying, well, two commands right there start with E. There's exit and enable. So right here I can do EN and I could hit tab and that will complete it or I could just leave it like that. It's smart enough to recognize that you meant to type in enable when you type in EN. So I need to configure stuff. So conf t, config t, and we're gonna change the host name. So here, I'm gonna just type in host, switch to, end out of there. And so now we have a switch one and switch two. Let's connect them up. Now, these two are the same type of devices. Both sides are switches. So we're going to go over here to connections and this is going to be a crossover cable. Click on there, and remember these switches have a bunch of ports. They've got 24 fast Ethernet ports, 2 gigabit Ethernet ports, and usually when you connect switch to switch, you want to take advantage of those gigabit ports. So you're going to click on there and see you're going to be given a graphical way of connecting that cable. Let's go over to gigabit 01, so click on there, drag this cable over to switch 2, and we're going to be connecting gigabit 01 to gigabit 01. And because we have that always show port names there, see gig01, gig01 there. And let's just wait about 30, well, let's not wait, but if you uh, wait on your end, you're gonna see that eventually these orange, yellow, or orange lights will turn into green lights as the ports come on. Okay, that was a quick intro into switches on Packet Tracer. In the next video, we're gonna be Taking it one step up, we're going to be connecting computers to switches, 
and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Now, if you want to save this, this is a pretty good thing to save. So go up to File and Save. If you don't save it, not a big deal because in the next video, we're going to create this from scratch or create a topology from scratch. Thanks for watching.